no COVID nineteen. For me, it's Christ above, Christ over viruses, Hi. infections, and diseases. What? <laughs> Wait, say that again. See, COVID nineteen, Christ, Christ over viruses, viruses infections, and diseases. Mad. Yes. Ah, hey. that's it for me. <laughs> There's no way I'm catching that shit, girl. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Essen Siri. Ignore the person beside me. <laughs> she's, just, she's just clamoring for attention. I'll introduce her. Don't worry. Welcome, welcome. If it's your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. Yes, without before I start going all crazy, today is a very special day because I came for a sleepover and my friends, the hot, the sexy, the one that about that's about to burn her hand. <laughs> no other than her name is Oda. <laughs> Cramping myself. You probably, you probably heard me talk about her in maybe one of those videos. I, there's no way you know me that I won't mention. There are three people that I always mention: my mom, my sister, and, and other. No more. <laughs> yes, yes. Other is my home girl here in London, and I've just come over to her place despite this whole coronavirus thing. Like yeah. I literally took the tube took the boss to come here i risked my life i know i'm that loyal no, friend you, you need me you. in life as a friend <laughs> anyway without wasting too much time let's get to today's video so i've just come to Adam's house for a sleepover and we were just chatting about things i could talk about on my channel and she mentioned something i was like we have to make a video out of it so Adam. I'll let you do the honors. What are we talking about today? So, today we'll be talking about the things we have learned from the coronavirus. Yes, people. The coronavirus is real. And here in the UK, it's getting scary crazy. by the day. It like, is. literally, a few moments ago, Adam just got a message from her boss saying, walk from home. Same thing for me. My boss told me, walk from home. Yeah. So, tomorrow is walk from home day. <laughs> hey! <laughs> don't guys, do you like working from home? Personally, I don't. I do actually. I do. Really? I'm more productive when I work from home. Really? Because I work, you know, people set up meetings for you, your calendar is mm. booked up. But yeah, you control your time, you get the work done. I mean, you still have the side meetings, but if you say you want to get your tax done within the next hour, you get it done. But I work, someone passes by, there's a chit chat, I get distracted. Ah, I see your point. Me personally, I prefer to work in an office setting. That the environment, I'm the yeah. kind of person that I feel like energy of my environment. True. And in my house, the only environment, the only energy I'm getting is the last people I watch TV. <laughs> so I'm not very productive yeah. at home. It I, does get tiring at some point. Yeah. You want to work with people. And considering the ergonomics of having a proper workspace, true, true. Here you just have some weird cheap ass chair that you bought from IKEA. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, we didn't mean to. No disrespect, Ikea. We love you. We love you. Yeah, but you know, we can get some, you know, what's it called? The lowest type. <laughs> you know? Yes. What have we learned? From this whole coronavirus pandemic by the way it's a serious situation yeah and oh, hold on i'll just run start. so <laughs> for me um i think the coronavirus has taught all of us that you there is nothing that can be done remotely yes because now a lot of companies are shutting down and telling everyone to work from home work from home and maybe two years ago or a year ago or maybe let's throw back to when you first got employed they yeah. probably told you oh you have to come in every day mm -hmm. you need to be in the office for meetings but now people are taking advantage yeah. of a lot of um uh, what's it called um messaging applications exactly. um a lot of online teams are being set up and even the most difficult tasks or the most engaging tasks are being done remotely so i think people need to negotiate now people would know how to negotiate when they go back to work or if they get new jobs you know look at your strengths and your weaknesses look at the resources you have you I, I totally agree that you can work from home and it's something that most companies should do yeah. I, I was working in france and that was never an option i don't know if it's a uk thing but i think that culture of working from home is quite popular in here in the uk oh really in, yes I, i've observed that and it is nice but i kind of i'm trying to put myself in the shoes of 
the owners of these businesses here yeah. i think productivity is less when people work from home oh yes yes there's no way to check because productivity yeah and but yeah. nevertheless it's true now i feel every company should have an avenue for people to be able to work from mm-hmm. home because true. you can't tell what will happen you true. snap of a f- finger this coronavirus thing just started yes. <laughs> another thing that i think personally that i've learned is personal hygiene True. personal hygiene like now it's such a big deal like i for some reason i don't know if it's happened to you but i'm now more conscious about what i touch yeah before i even eat before i do anything like today i was pulling on my beard and it probably was like eh, let's see you can't use that hand and don't touch your face yeah. don't touch your face leave your face i'm talking to myself leave your face <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of personal yeah. hygiene i feel like no i had i have this question in my head mm. did people just start washing their hands <sighs> well yes I, I would say yes like for me personally I do wash my hands, but just after I've left the bathroom, like if I've gone to the loo, before I go back to my, I always yeah, wash my yeah. hands. But I never really thought about it. Thought about it. Like maybe I've just come off the very nasty tube or bus. Like I've just gotten home. I do take a shower, so I guess that counts. Yeah. But like the way I, I, I took the tube today, I got to the house first. I was like, ah, let me go and wash, wash my, my hands. hands because truth of the matter is that those things are dirty. But oh. think about it now, you know. Just close your eyes and imagine millions and multitude of viruses and germs that we have taken into our system because we've not been washing our hands. That is correct. Oh, that is true. The blood of Jesus. Let an order say I'm one that is spiritual. No <laughs> virus. You no virus, no virus formed in the against lab me. against us shall. Prosper. You know, COVID nineteen. For me, it's Christ, Christ over viruses, Hi. infections, and diseases. What? Do you... Wait, say that again. See, COVID nineteen, Christ, Christ over viruses, viruses infections, infections, and diseases. diseases. Mad. Yes. Ah, hey. that's it for me. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm catching that shit, girl. Um, what else? What else has coronavirus um, taught us? Apart from personal hygiene, being able to work from home, we're all one and the same. Mm. And I know when this whole thing started and there was no case in Africa, people were trying to understand, oh, why is there no case in Africa? What's it about the black gene? You know, what's is it some black magic? But now the cases are being reported in Jamaica, in Nigeria, in and in other African countries. It's not mm-hmm. just a Chinese thing. Yes. So we're all one and the same. So after all of this, I hope people will sit back and say, okay, I don't need to be nasty to this person just because he or she is black, brown, or a different color. I mean, we all got affected by the same plague. Exactly. So we're all one and the same. Yes. That is so true. Yeah. That is so true. So when next you see me flipping my brain, just say, hey, sister. <laughs> Because we're all one and the exactly. same. Do you know the, the funny bit? This is probably not a lesson, but it's just funny how I don't know if it's true. Yeah. When how they're saying that the coronavirus does not survive in heat. Have you well, seen all those yeah. things? Now I'm like, who's true. laughing now? But who's true. laughing? I now? I almost I almost can't believe like, who's laughing now. But I don't. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's. Oh, they say true. it doesn't survive in temperatures above 26 degrees. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's 40 degrees in like, Nabuja at the moment. Yeah. So. I mean, by the time you move from one person to another, that virus will be like, ah, this song. <laughs> this song. But, yeah. I mean, nevertheless, we I all need to be like careful. You can yeah, still, you can still, spread. you can still catch the virus, whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in the, yeah. in the Arctic. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a medical student. I, I don't fully understand. understand the whole virus situation. Yeah. But nevertheless, we stay safe. And so, one thing again I, now i'm even digressing i yeah. really just wanted to bring it's not really a lesson but the thing is people should not just act out of panic yeah a lot of fear is being in. oh my god it's a ridiculous lot of people are living in fear. it is ridiculous and i think that's what's driving this whole impulse buying and yes. um, stockpiling i mean the shops are now closing down 
it's not as though Tesco mm-hmm. or Sainsbury or Lidl is shutting down nationwide. These shops are gonna be there tomorrow. Yes. So I don't understand why you walk into the shop and you can't get tissues, you can't get fruit, you can't get nothing, you can't get just, milk, you can't get the one that is even funny, two things that they are sh- crazy shopping for right now is tissue and pasta. And in my mind, I'm like, I don't understand. Okay, this. pasta, I get it. A Why? Bit. I mean, deep dry food and tin tomatoes and tin food. If there's, I mean, a pandemic and the shops have to shut down, right. it won't degrade. Why not rice though? Well, well, people get rice as well. Rice is we can't find rice in the shops. Really? Yeah. I went to Asda and the entire uh, pasta section aisle was empty, but there was still rice. <laughs> I agreed. Um, tomato paste and the rest was gone. Yeah. Eggs gone. gone. But the, the tissue paper. Yeah, I'll just say my piece here. The reason why I'm not shaking for the tissue paper <laughs> is because I'm no. Nigerian. Don't yes. even kid yourself. If you're Nigerian, did you ever use water to wash your hands? Exactly. <laughs> like. Wait, there's this. It's thing. not just in Nigeria. Just it's actually for they do it. They do it. Is that what it's Yeah, they do it. So I'm like, okay, what? I mean, well, let's say, let's assume we're in a terrible situation. Yeah, right? you can't use tissues. Man, hop into the shower and wash <laughs> up the number two. I mean, you probably have worse bacteria from the things we do. It's your body. Know. It's your bomb. It's your shit. So it clean is, up. It is just wash, wash up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it to me, I don't get it. I don't. I do. Although I'm not even going to lie, I'm a little bit tempted to stock up on stuff. Not mm. because I'm scared, but because I feel like the way people are buying. Eventually, when I want to buy, I won't the find anything thing. to buy. True, true. That's the only reason why I'm even thinking about it, but I haven't done it because true. I cannot be bothered. See, last last, we'll lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not part of the mission. It's part of the- <laughs> Thank you, Corona. <laughs> We, we can thank Corona for that. <laughs> ah, no, yeah. fast. Ah. <laughs> no. I can't even fast from six to two. Yes, another thing that we've learned, or personally that I've learned, is yeah. you only live once. Yeah. Just do it. Sure. Like Nike says, just do Good. it. The reason why I'm saying so is you don't know what can happen. Sure. You, you just need to live your life. You can't. Keep waiting for that perfect moment. I'm mm-hmm. I'm preaching to the choir right now because I'm the kind of person who procrastinates a lot. Mm-hmm. Like it has taken me the longest time to even start this YouTube channel. And I've been mm-hmm. saying, and you know, sometimes I see things that I feel like could be great content. Yeah. But because I haven't even started, I can't even post anything. Mm-hmm. So I feel like you need to live your life. Sure. If you've been planning something, maybe you want to go somewhere. You want to take that course. You want to go on that trip. You want to start a business? Just do it. Just do it. You start now know. because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. True. You don't know if that job that you don't like is still going to be there tomorrow. True. Maybe that side hustle you've been thinking about, you're like, oh no 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 no, my nine to five. True. Start start small. Yeah. True. Just True. do it. Don't because the truth of the matter is that there's no big moment there's and there's no, no perfect opportunity like or perfect scenario. True. You just have to go with it sometimes, you know. Not sometimes, all the time. Mm-hmm. Because nobody really knows. I mean, let's take, talk, think about the people that have passed away from this rest, rest in peace to their mm-hmm. souls. But I'm sure they had dreams as well. Yeah. They probably had plans true. as well. Mm. Uh, some of them may have actually started living their dream lives. Mm-hmm. Some of them were waiting to live their dream lives. But now there's no life at all. At all. That's, so, that, that's, uh, yeah. That's, it's a little bit sad. It is. It, it is, is sad. sad. It is it's sad. It's a wake up call. It everyone. is a wake up call. Yeah. He wants to get that Canada visa. My ah. brother, start now. Ex- express entry. <laughs> <laughs> Skilled <laughs> workers. <laughs> you know, you know. Now is the time. Now is the time. Come to me. I can help you, you know. I can I'll, help you I'll, apply. I'll, I'll leave her Instagram True. below. Slide into her DM. Yes. Not for any other reason. No. Strictly mm. professional. Yeah. Or that means we can work something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. my god. I think the last thing um, that I've learned is to be prepared. Be prepared yeah. for that opportunity. Google. Hey Google. What? Google what's, took what's my going on? Stop I think playing. <laughs> what's going on? Stop playing. I think. Oh my god. 
that would, that would make a nice blog. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. the last point um, for today is to be prepared. Yes. To be prepared. What I'm saying so is, opportunity. We keep looking out for opportunities, but opportunities. You don't know when opportunities will opportunity rather will knock on your door. So you have to be ready yes, to yeah. go. What I'm saying, so for example, now we see that the stock market, the shares of several big firms have crashed, and now is exactly. I call it is like <laughs> golden opportunity. Golden up, it's True. like the the stock market is on sale, people. And you need to, like now True. is the best because like, for I by faith I'm trusting God that this COVID nineteen um, pandemic is going to end, and when it does, business will pick on yes. back to as usual and. Those prices will rise again, and in, in a way, I'm a little bit sad because it's something I kept saying. I put on my vision board. I said I want to invest in shares this yeah. year. I want to like really, really, really make my money work for me. Yeah. And I started reading about it, but I didn't really pay so much attention to it. And now I'm, I'm I don't want to just rush in because, because you really haven't done that research. Because I haven't done yeah. my homework. Yeah. So that's one thing. Be prepared for that opportunity. If there's Maybe I say, oh, I need to just meet this certain person. This yeah. person will elevate my career. Are you prepared to meet that person? If you had two minutes to talk to that person, what is your what does your elevator pitch sound like? Sure. You need to be ready. You, you don't know. Ready. You don't know. So you need to be ready. That's something that this um, COVID nineteen pandemic yeah. has taught me. Is be prepared because of what we, again, I'm speaking to people that are Christians. We keep praying to God. God help me. Help me. Help me. Yeah. Help me. When God wants to help you, are you ready? Are you ready? True. Ask yourself that question. Are you ready? True. So that's that's it. I think in summary, what are the things with that? I'm just going to summarize yeah. everything real quick. First so, one is you can work from home. You can work from home. It's possible. It is possible to work from home. Yeah. Number um, two, personal hygiene. Personal hygiene. Mm-hmm. Don't need to stop. <laughs> Another thing is just do it. Just do it. And the last one is be, be prepared. prepared. Also, we forgot to mention one. Yeah, the importance of having a community. Community. You need people in your life. You need people you can trust. Um, take for example, you're sick or you're self isolated. You need someone to help you get drugs. Sorry, medications. You need someone to help you get pick up your groceries. You need someone to check up on you. Mm. You know. And it's also good for your own mental health. So you need to make an effort in your workplace a church, whatever social gathering you go to, you know, make an effort to meet people, get mm-hmm. to know people. And um, it's not enough for you to be that one they keep helping. You have yes. to be the one that helps people mm, also. Mm, you have to reach out as you well. It's a two-way street. Two street. Relationship is not all about receiving, receiving, receiving. receiving. Yeah. You have to give. Yeah, yeah. And in giving, it means you have to be open as well. Yes. You don't be that person that people love to help. Yeah, um, love to be around. Okay, um, yeah. try as much as possible wherever you find yourself. This is I'm speaking from personal experience. I used to be like that. I think Adam can testify to yeah. it. I used to self isolate a lot, but I've come to realize that that's not the best way to go. Yeah, you know, you you need people. True, you do need people. And again, don't consider your the people I'm talking about doesn't necessarily have to be new friends. It could be your old friends. It could yes. be your family members. True. Guys, it could be your True. family members. My sister is on my speed dial. True. Like she's people surround yourself. Love is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you know, sometimes people think it's so difficult to I mean make friends when mm-hmm. you move to a big city. But the thing is that I feel like we keep looking for new contacts that we disregard the old contacts we had. Mm. You might have that schoolmate in that city of yours, maybe a schoolmate from uni mm. or from primary school just go on facebook reach out to them let someone know where you are where you live let someone um have someone as your emergency contact it's very important it's very very in times like this it is very important so so guys if you liked this video give it a what other thumbs up be like (laughs) other give it a thumbs up subscribe (laughs) like share it's important this is good advice you need to share and leave your comments down in the comment section below i love you guys so much and don't forget to tune in for the next episode you will see more of adam adam is my my bestie here in london so we'll be touring london together so watch out for those videos yes yes, all right guys till next time love ya hey google (laughs) hey google play some songs by whiz kid
We're waiting for Google. Wait, Three, you know what I mean by Oasis, sure. Huh? Hey.